the next grass we're going to look at is Seashore Paspalum. Seashore Paspalum <clears throat> is a uh, uh, finely textured grass. It'd be easy to mistake it for either zoysia grass um, or Bermuda grass, depending on where it's being grown and, and the way it's being maintained. Probably going to be most easily mistaken with Bermuda grass. We're going to take a look at a couple of the features that distinguish it from Bermuda grass so that you can hopefully more confidently separate the two of them out. Uh, of course, we talked about Bermuda grass having a folded vernation. Seashore Paspalum can be either rolled or folded. Seashore Paspalum has both rhizomes and stones. You can see the stones here growing out of the side of this pot. And if we pull this out of here, uh, we should, without too much trouble, be able to find a couple of rhizomes that we can tear out of the side of this pot as well. Um, here's one right now that, that uh, we'll tear out and make a big mess of. But um, here's a rhizome that is uh, growing of a seashore, seashore, seashore vest palm. I can't stress enough the importance of being able to get in and uh, tear the tear into the root zone so that you can figure out what it is that you're actually looking at. Without knowing the growth habit of some of these grasses, it's almost impossible to separate them apart. So it is important that if you were out in the landscape and looking at the grasses that you get down and take some of the, uh, the grass out, uh, get into the root zone and see whether you've got rhizomes or stolons um, and whatever it is that's present there. So vernation on <clears throat> seashore paspalum is not going to be something that's very helpful to us because it can be either rolled or folded. Uh, pointed leaf tip, which is shared by Bermuda grass and, and zoysia grass. The point that is going to be valuable to us though is the ligule. So again, we're gonna look at the ligule, take off one of these leaves and we're gonna pull that, that leaf back away from the stem. And hopefully here, we will be able to find the membranous ligule with hairs. Let me see if I can change my angle here with the camera. So when we get in here and look at this right here, actually you can see the ligule right up against the stem right there. And remember, it's, it looks sort of like an onion skin membrane. It's translucent. You can see it just pulling away from the stem and it's surrounded by hairs. So this membranous ligule with hairs is something that is unique to seashore paspalum. And when I pull that back away from the stem, you can see what I'm talking about there. There's just that little translucent membrane. So we're gonna look for that translucent membrane uh, in amongst a grouping of hairs. Let's see if we can find another one here to look at just real quick and make sure that everybody's comfortable with finding that membranous ligule on t shirt pest palum. So we're, again, we're just gonna take part of this, this leaf, pull it back away from the stem, and you can see that membrane sticking right up at the base of that leaf. All right, the only other grasses that will have membranous ligules are cool season grasses, and the cool season grasses won't have any hairs uh, along with it. So that is uh, one of the distinguishing characteristics of seashore paspalum.